We got a red dot, folks. Welcome back to Akron, Northeast Ohio's hottest and fastest growing show, 3 to go. I am here at the University of Akron campus this morning at the Akron Children's Hospital facility, and I'm here with Courtney and Dr. Eddie. How are the two of you this morning? Fantastic. Thank you. Great. All right. That was, that was, uh, it was great. Yeah, we're great. All right. So, so guys, first of all, tell me, tell me about the, tell me about the two of you. Like, give me an idea of what you guys do here. So what I do is work with people with musculoskeletal problems, um, helping with uh, diagnosis and managing them. Okay, and Courtney? So I, actually Dr. Erding and I both have been here at Akron for many years, but now with this collaboration, um, we treat all Division I athletes with post-op injuries, chronic injuries, um, just some tweaks here and there to get them back to sport. Okay. Now, uh, one of the functions of this facility is to get people back up and running, right? So, so talk to me about what is it? So I'm going to kind of pan around the room here and just kind of take a look. What are some of the, what are some of the, um, facility options that are available in terms of, uh, helping, uh, students and patients rehab? So we have, like, this is a traditional PT clinic, um, but being on campus, we were able to play a little bit. Actually, my colleague, Dave Gabriel was really helpful in picking out machines that kind of set us apart from like a normal rehab clinic. So the big pieces that you see in here that are a little out of the norm are, I'll start with the big one, which is the anti-gravity treadmill, which that allows us to run, jump, and move athletes um, with variable loads. Um, so this, this bubble here, it's a big plastic bubble. This guy lifts up, the athlete zips in, and we can do gait training with athletes who maybe shouldn't be weight bearing fully yet, or we can do run training with an athlete who might have a strain that they can't run full speed on the ground, but when we lift them a little and offload them, we can do certain things we would normally in that phase of healing. Um, so this is this is an awesome piece. This is a, it's called the boost treadmill. Okay. No affiliation with it. Okay. Um, and the other couple pieces that we have that are unique, um, a lot of rehab centers don't tend to have like higher level strength and conditioning um, pieces. Again, this wasn't my idea, but I love having it. Um, it's a squat rack. Um, our guys e and women easy transition to the weight room. So that's been nice to kind of bridge the gap between rehab and return to sport. Um, this is a shuttle jumper, so we can simulate jumping activities on this um, in a supine, like laying on your back position. So we really like this piece of equipment. Um, this piece over here is called the Kaiser. Um, the nice thing about this unit is it provides, unlike a typical pulley system, continual load. It's all like pneumatic pressure driven. In fact, do you want me to demonstrate the noise of it? Like, sure, go for it. When I engage this, it's a compressor. So okay. You can hear the air, and like as I go up, it becomes harder to pull. Okay. And it gives me it throughout the whole range as a traditional pulley system would release that, you know, um, resistance during different ranges. Okay. So this allows us to get more explosive and power. That's really unique. Um, behind me, we have a reformer. Um, this is more of a Pilates machine. We use this with all athletes. Um, this is a pretty scaled back version, but Pilates based training. Uh, and then these are just like fun toys. This is a trampoline type mat um, that allows us to do jump training on the TRX suspension system. We've got two of them. Um, and we have a bunch of toys here on the rack. So like a bunch of stuff for here. Okay. So well equipped, but really the space and the locality of this clinic has been what's most ideal. Like, a coach just said hi to me for men's soccer. So our visibility with the athletes has been really awesome. Yeah, right here in uh, attached to the field house. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so Dr. A, tell me, um, so talk to me about the process in terms of uh, how does this work in terms of when an athlete does get injured? Like what, what, what happens first? They're diagnosed and how, how does this all work? Talk us through that process. Sure. So um, if we're talking about the University of Akron, uh, a lot of times they'll, they'll be talk to their athletic trainer first, right? And so, um, it's a lot of things that are simple that the athletic trainer can manage, but when there's something that they're not sure about and, and they need, need backup or they want, to, want me to take a look at them, 
Um, it's just a 100-yard walk, you know, come down to us and uh, we'll get them upstairs. Um, we got x-ray on site. Um, I have my ultrasound on site here, new uh, state-of-the-art machine. And uh, so we'll, you know, get a history, do a physical exam, uh, get imaging that's needed, and, um, you know, converse with the athletic trainer, like, what is going on, and, you know, what are their steps that we need to do to get them better. Okay. And all that is run through, it's in conjunction, just for clarification, through the hospital or the university or both together? Uh, it is, um, well, so the athletic trainers are uh, you know, employees of the Akron Children's Hospital. So, um, you know, so it's mostly through, through Akron Children's. Okay. And uh, Casey did mention to me that we do have an option. There are, uh, you, there are uh, folks that are allowed to be treated here that are not university students. Is that correct? Absolutely. In fact, yeah. So, yeah, we're here on site. You know, and the athletes are loving it. But, yeah, I, I'm seeing, you know, the idea is for, you know, a student body, even faculty, um, and then people not even associated with the university. You know, we're seeing, you know, just people in the general population here as well. Okay. Well, listen, I appreciate you guys' time today and, and just showing the space and getting an opportunity um, just to experience this with you guys. Uh, now, this is now fully up and running, correct? Yeah, we've been uh, since uh, October 31st. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, good to go. Hey, thank you so much. You too as well. We appreciate you sharing this time and, and, and the space with us. Um, and like I said, we'll, we'll put this together in a little video for you and, and uh, get the information out there to the community.